Hello everyone, my name is Mohammad Andit Iqbal. I'm a PhD student in University Polytechnic of Bucharest, and I'm working in CEO Space Tech in the framework of Menelos, which is a Marie Curie project. Recently, I have submitted the conference paper in Ocean, uh, with title Ocean Surface Current Retrieval for Sentinel 1's R images based on Doppler centroid estimation. And uh, also, I have submitted uh, an abstract for ESA Week for the poster presentation. And this work is supervised by Professor Andrew Engel from UPB and Professor Mihai Tatko from DLR. For this research work, we have deployed SLC state map data, which is high resolution data. And in order to uh, done so far, we have implemented uh, two techniques uh, named as correlation Doppler estimation and energy balancing method for Doppler centroid estimation as first. In the right hand uh, uh, side, on, we can see there are four windows that explains the method of energy balancing. It states that we should achieve a reference function that uh, in energy of our spectrum should be on left hand side should be equal to energy on right hand side. And uh, for the correlation Doppler estimation, uh, we have deployed azimuth shift, which is basically a sort of Doppler. And based on this Doppler history, we can retrieve ocean surface velocity by the equation given here, Vd. And for that, we need an incident angle and the wave number, which can be uh, retrieved from metadata. Based on this Doppler velocity with the empirical relationship of this Doppler velocity, we can measure wave height. What is the purpose of this research? Uh, basically, uh, we want to study the behavior of uh, oceanic changes during uh, rain and storm, because at that time, ocean waves uh, are in a dynamic uh, state and we can easily observe the moving targets in ocean as well. Here are some results of, uh, regarding this research. In the uh, left hand side, on the top side corner, we have uh, intensity of star image with a coastline, with the ocean water, and uh, some moving objects like ships in the water. On the right hand side, top corner, we have Doppler centroid estimation, uh, which is confined uh, to the primitive baseband. While on left hand down side, we have a Doppler velocity, which varies from uh, uh, minus two to two meter per second, depends on, uh, depends on the Doppler either moving forward or backward. However, the, compa uh, however, the retrieved surface current component is re reasonable and the values varies within the limit of er uh, error bounds. And we have compared this with the ocean models reported in literature. While on uh, right hand side uh, bottom, we have uh, Doppler wave height, which has been calculated with the empirical relationship of Doppler velocity. And now we can observe that uh, near the coastline, Doppler waves are Doppler waves velocity and wave heights are very obvious. And near to the 20. 4.10 degree uh, latitude, we can also observe uh, a river falling into the ocean that is also very apparent. At the end, we have the comparison between these two techniques uh, that we have implemented for the Doppler centroid estimation and then calibrated other parameters like uh, Doppler current and wave height. We have concluded that uh, for the distributed and non-homogeneous scene, uh, the co uh, correlation Doppler estimation performed very well. However, for the homogeneous or point target energy balancing method is uh, 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 that method performed very nicely. For both method, we have uh, uh, performed the correlation and the similarity we found it about 90%. And we conclude this, this, uh, uh, this technique is uh, uh, efficient for Sentinel-1 SAR data. Thank you so much for listening to me.